What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Town Training, and today we're going to be breaking down Golden Tate and his film. We're going to talk a little bit about route running. We're going to talk about his hands. We're going to talk about reading a defense a little bit, guys. We're going to talk about a few things today, and I hope you guys get a lot of value out of it. Guys, if you're a wide receiver and you want to improve your football IQ, if you want to get better at reading defenses, you want to understand coverages just like your quarterback understands so you guys can be on the same page, and that will get you the ball more. You'll get more receptions. Please check out that link in my description. We get you signed up on my website for premium film breakdowns just like this one on cover on defense, everything you need to know from a mindset, from a mental side about this game of football. Okay, so he's going to be running a comeback here. He's from the slot. Now, the main thing I want to talk about is how he's off the ball, right? So he's got about a couple yards to work with. Now, what he wants to do is attack this DB and attack his leverage. He's head up, right? So we want to get attacking him and get him on his heels, backpedal and either give him a quick jab and take this outside release, okay? We, it's hard to take an inside release when we got to run a comeback, and especially when we're waiting for this guy to clear over the middle. So let's watch this thing full speed, kind of close the gap gap here take this comeback and then break it off peak back technique then he's bursting up field so we're going to talk about the run after the catch as well so you can see here again he's attacking this db right this db's staying flat right here he's getting a read on him he's seeing how he's going to play it is he's going to backpedal and bail out of there right now and try to play man like that or is he going to keep a strong base and try to get hands right if he keeps a strong base let's just attack him and let's give him a jab inside okay we got to have a plan for our hands as well but luckily he doesn't have to use that he gives this quick jab and now he understands that he's got to go first he's got to clear out first because this slant's coming back underneath right so he understands that he's got to get going he can't waste a whole lot of time right here because this slant will run into him okay he knows the slant can take a little time with his release, right? He can give a couple moves at the top of the route. He can give a couple moves off the line of scrimmage because he's still got to wait for this route to clear and for him to get upfield to run this comeback. So he goes first, but he understands Golden Tate that he's got to get up into this route fast, right? So again, makes this jab. Let's get up into this route fast. Good timing, good mesh. Doesn't run into each other. He's able to come back underneath. He's able to take this thing up outside. Now, when we're running a comeback, guys, we want to sell like we're going vertical. Peek back with my eyes, which is what gets this DB to overcommit. Right, He's turning and running with us, so we already got him. If we snap this thing down and we get out of the break in the least amount of steps possible, right? So we're coming up. We get this peak back technique. Now, when he decides to snap down, he's snapping down with his outside leg first. When you run a comeback and when you run a curl, you want to snap down with your outside leg. Or with this, in this case, it would be his inside leg. But you want to take three steps to get in and out of this break. If he was to snap down with this right leg, he'd have to take four, right? It's all about eliminating those wasted steps, those wasted motions. So when he snaps down here, you can see drops his hips that second step is pivoting him back down to this 45 degree angle and then that third step is what drives him and gives him acceleration out of this break okay we got to be able to get in and out of this break here we got to be able to create some force and we got to be able to run out of this break back to the ball right so he snaps it down pumps those arms running back to the ball makes a play now when he catches this thing guys i want you to see he doesn't worry about making all these moves he just gets a feel right now that's exactly what he does let's worry about getting a feel right now good things happen when we catch the ball we get the ball in our hands and we could just burst up field and that's exactly what he does makes a guy miss and then he scores this touchdown that's a great route by golden Tate. great play great football iq play from him let's watch this thing full speed one more time so coming out peeking back one two three in and out of this break accelerate out of the break it's a race to the ball and then catch this thing and let's get up field right now that's a great play by golden Tate. very disrespectful celebration okay so on this catch right here, we're going to be breaking down this catch. This is a hell of a catch that he makes, but I want to talk about how he catches this thing, the mechanics of this catch, and what how you guys can use this to help your game improve. Okay, So the main thing I want to talk about, I'm not worried about the throw, I'm not worried about the route right now. We're going to talk about the catch. When this ball is coming, I want you to see his eyes. Okay, This is what so many receivers do, especially when they're in traffic. They're worried about getting hit. They're worried about this guy over here. They're worried about getting upfield. They're worried about so many different things, but the catch has to come first. right? As simple as it might sound, I see too many guys not doing this. So what is he doing? All the way into this catch, he's looking at this thing with his eyes, okay? He doesn't let it hit his hands and he peeks up. He's almost like your eyes, like they're a camera, and you want to take a picture of the ball, okay? I've heard a coach say that before, and I really like that statement. You want to take a picture with your eyes of the ball to make sure that we look it in. Now, we're going to talk about the mechanics of this thing with his hands. I get this question asked a lot. How do I better my hands? When you hear people say, I want to have soft hands, right? It's not about letting this thing hit your palms, okay? we got to stay in our fingers. That's what the expression means. What do soft hands mean? It means that we want to stay in these fingers. So that's exactly what he does. You see when he's catching this thing, where's this ball at? It's in his fingers, not your fingertips because that's how you're going to drop it, and not his palms so this thing doesn't bounce off. You almost don't even want to hear this ball hit your hands. That's how soft you want your hands to be. So right, catching this thing in his fingers. Now when he's about to take this hit, what does he do? He kind of leaves this ball out here, but he still protects this ball. 
ball. He holds it nice and tight to his body so this thing doesn't come out or somebody doesn't strip it. That's a great job working at catching traffic, great mechanics with this catch. Let's watch it full speed one more time. So ball is coming over the top. Take a picture with your eyes. Catch this thing in your fingers. That's a great job by Golden Tate working this catch over the middle. That's not an easy catch to do. Okay, so he's going to be running a post corner here. Let's watch this thing full speed, then we'll break it down. So he's got a post corner. And he's free. He's home free right here, okay? So this is zone coverage 100%. So now what we got to worry about here is we got to make sure that we don't give this thing away, okay? We don't want to give this thing away, especially when – so what we got here is got to dig from the number two, and then we got post from the number one, and then he's running this post corner. And there really should be nobody in this area if this safety runs at the dig and then this corner runs at the post, right? Okay, so that's what we need to be looking at here. So when he comes on this post, he does a great job of selling this thing with his eyes, right? His eyes are over the middle. What this guy's doing, his eyes are to the number two after he makes this break back to the post. So he makes this break back to the corner. I'm sorry. His eyes are to the inside. He's thinking he's got help over here. He doesn't have to worry about that, right? DB is running with this post right here. So really, we got nobody to cover this post corner right now, and that's a great job by the quarterback finding this read. Okay, now, how can receivers get – what can they get out of this, right? This is so important that we make everything look the same, even if it's man coverage, even if it's zone coverage. we got to give our eyes to the quarterback, and we got to commit our shoulders anytime we're working a double move. So we got to commit our eyes to the post, and then when we break it off to this corner, we got to shoot right back outside and commit our eyes and our shoulders on the initial post break. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. This is a great job. Eyes, shoulders inside. Break it off. Snap it off. Accelerate out. Find the open space in this defense. That's a great job by Golden Tate. Really good football, high football IQ play. And again, catches this ball. Let's get upfield. Good things happen when we have the ball in our hand and we're just worried about getting upfield. Okay, so now... As you can see already drawn here, we got almost this like dagger concept. So we got a seam from the number three, and then we got a little five yard in from Golden Tate right here, okay? So the most important thing is that we know that this seam right here is going to clear out this linebacker, okay? Now, what we got to understand is that there's a hole in this defense way over the middle if this safety comes out of here as well. So at the snap of the ball, let's watch at full speed. You can see linebacker clears out of there, right? Now, the main thing I want to talk about in this is your acceleration out of the break, okay? So when he clears out of there, Golden Tate's here. He sees this linebacker's turn. He sees this linebacker's running. He knows he's getting the ball. I talk a lot about football IQ, right? How do you know these situations? Right. That's what I was talking about with my website earlier. We want to accelerate out over this middle because we know there's a huge gap right here. This is what I'm talking about, being on the same page as your quarterback. We want to accelerate out right here. We know that if we can just beat this guy over the middle, it's very hard for him to make a play on us over the middle when we're running full speed. We know where we're going. He's chasing us, right? All we know is Eli's got to give a good ball over the middle. It's a great job. Let's burst up field and let's go score. It's a very intelligent play by Golden Tate. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. Burst up, break it down, accelerate out of the break. That's a great job by Golden Tate working this in, working this almost dagger concept. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Please leave in the comments who you would like to see me break down next or any questions you guys might have. I would really appreciate that, and I'll see you guys next time.